Hi, I'm Lillian Love. I'm Joshua Hathaway. Welcome to our dojo of alchemical intimacy. We are so thrilled to have the opportunity to share a practice with you that has transported each of us and our relationship so much deeper into pleasure, healing, intimacy, and devotion. We're here to talk about rituals of adoration. And these rituals are a form of superfood nutrient for ourselves when we practice solo, mm -hmm. for each other when we practice in lovership, and for the relationship itself, which is the tabernacle of our togetherness. Mm -hmm. And a healthy relationship is the cornerstone of all healing and is a master key to unlocking more of our most profound gifts and dreams in life. This is why we are devoted to cultivating and transmitting the arts of alchemical intimacy, which are relevant in any relationship that you might find yourself in. A ritual of adoration can be as simple as a 20 minute back rub or as elaborate as a multi-hour ceremony of bathing, massage, poetry, and orgasmic sensual delights. Mm, yes. At its heart, a ritual of adoration is about giving and receiving full presence and attention. So whatever kind of ritual you decide to do at whatever level of depth or sexuality, the essential ingredient is presence. Mm -hmm. And the key is to be very clear who's in the role of giving and who's in the role of receiving. Mm -hmm. Giving and receiving is a dance. And I mean, like any partner dance, knowing who is leading and who is following generally makes for a more beautiful and fun time on the dance floor. And most of us, if we're really honest, have a difficult time just receiving. I know I find it a bit uncomfortable to just receive. Mm -hmm. Some part of me always feels like it needs to be helping or contributing in some way. But Lillian has taught me a lot about what it means to just stop, mm -hmm. to just relax more into receiving. And when I can surrender like that to her love, even for just 10 or 20 or 30 minutes at a time, mm. something so deep inside of me is nourished. Mm. Mm. And part of the magic of making time for adoration is to practice being in these roles to really start to get clear. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we do live in this modern world where it is really easy to get caught up in the commerce of relationship the give to get something in return model. And often this devolves into, you know, giving the minimum to get the maximum return. And this is after all the very basis of our modern economy. What we've discovered is that in its most sacred and intimate and delicious form, relationship is a gift economy. Mm -hmm. In a gift economy, we give for the joy of giving and cultivate an attitude of generosity no obligation, no entitlement, no manipulative investments will do. We give generously to the current of life and we know that we're participating in a fabric of connectedness mm -hmm. that tends to all of our needs and that delights in giving to us what we are ready to receive. Yes, but we must be willing to receive. We must be willing to make space in our lives to stop doing and giving and trying and controlling all the time. We must be willing to open vulnerably to the care, the touch, the presence, and the adoration that will truly nourish us. And this is really about cultivating trust, which is perhaps the most precious resource in the universe. Truly. A ritual of adoration is our favorite choose your own adventure laboratory for experimenting in these polarities of giving and receiving as we cultivate the mana of trust in our mm -hmm. bodies and our relationships. Yeah. You get to start right where you are and take one courageous step at a time in the direction of more of the beautiful intimacy your heart knows is possible. You get to invite your beloved to come closer, starting perhaps with a beautiful, infinitely lovable being resting in your own warm skin right now. Mm. And make no mistake, a ritual of adoration is a place of healing when our clients drop deeply into that intimate place within themselves. 
then they often find that there are wounds that are healed that they didn't even know they were carrying. Totally. And despite the kind of woo-woo name, rituals of adoration are actually incredibly practical. You don't have to learn some new way of communicating or promise any kind of permanent personality adjustment. You just have to make a vulnerable invitation, set a time, and show up fully for what emerges. Yeah. Yes, and the more that you do practice in this way, the more nourished everybody gets, and the more naturally you actually embody these principles in your everyday life. And everybody wins. Everybody wins. <laughs> and everybody experiences more orgasmic joy mm -hmm. in the relationship. Yeah. So we really hope that you'll start this journey right now with one more courageous step. Click the link and sign up for our free Ritual of Adoration guide. In this guide, we share everything you need to know to go from, what the heck is this, to, wow, that was hot. Mm. We give an overview of the process. We talk about the guiding principles and intentions of the journey. We share practical advice on preparing for the ritual mm -hmm. and even offer step-by-step -step instructions for a few different formats of adoration. All you gotta do is click the link and give us an email to send the guide to. And once we are connected, then you'll also get to hear about all of the other delicious ways that we are supporting people to cultivate alchemical intimacy in their lives and their relationships. You are so worthy of adoration. Mm -hmm. And wherever you are on the path, whether you're single or you're partnered, whether you're happy or whether you're in despair, you can start from right here cultivating more of the exquisite intimacy that your heart knows is possible. Mm. One vulnerable yes at a time. Mm. We hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.